Well, hello again. Welcome back to Stockman Originals. I'd like to take you on the, through the process of making this little puffin. I'm Brian Stockman. I made it out of a whale's tooth. If you'd like to see how the whole thing is done, and stick with me and I'll show you. So the next step is a uh, trusty dusty pencil and uh, bring up our, the reference here. Line between the white ear and the black of the back. Now this we've already kind of outlined. This um, is going to be the distinction between the black and the white here. So we don't need to mess with that. I'm going to scratch this line in first. That will uh, keep the ink where it's supposed to be. That's pretty good. Okay, so now, my ink, I'm going to lay that line in so we can see it real good, so you can see it real good. It's just a good deep line. I don't like how the sap going up the tree work. Oakley, Oakley, that's uh, good for starters. Okay, so now I'm going to take off the excess. There isn't much in this case, but clean up the line a bit for us. Off the desk, reduce the mess. Oh, there's that. Now what I'm going to do next is pretty much paint everything that's going to be black, black, right up to that line. All right, the line is at the border here. The tail is actually pretty much black on the top and white on the bottom. So that edge will be the border on that. And the cheeks, of course, are all lined out. So we're ready to go. We'll paint it black, as the stones say. All right, we just wait for it to dry. And I think it's pretty much dry. And this is at this stage. Now from here, there's lots of different ways to proceed. I'm going to use an old timey method that I've mentioned in previous videos called walking engraving. And that is done with a chisel. I have three different sizes. There's not much difference between this one and this one. I prefer this one, so I'd don't use that one much, but I do use it for things. But so basically you got big and little, if you call that big. I have smaller chisels, but I don't use them for this. Let's see, where do we want to start? So we'll start in the scary spot. The head. So I may use the bigger one later for a small area like the head. I'm going to stick with this smaller chisel. Now remember, as you're scratching through the black, what you make white now will be black. All right, well, you can see how the black is disappearing. Maybe in the light you can see the, the slight pattern. What happens is once you get it all filled in and ink it, again and remove the excess the lines that i'm cutting in actually look like little tiny feathers which is kind of cool i get the head pretty well done now i'm going to make a distinction between his body feathers and his wing sketching in the shoulder of his wing i'm going to bring it down to the point on his back and then back up and over that shoulder okay now I'm going to use this small chisel for all this part above the line. And then I'll go to a bigger one, the wings. Well, I've got the head pretty well done here. And the body feathers coming down 
the back and the shoulders. I'm going to do the same down in here. Now that that's all done, I'm going to do the shoulder caps here, the mantle with larger marks. They should look like bigger feathers. So now we've got both shoulders done. I'm going to do the, the feathers on the wingtips and the tail a little bit differently. So we're going to actually lay out some feathers. Alrighty. I'm going to use my little hawkbill knife here. Scribe them out. This tracks really nicely, makes a nice straight line. Now I'm going to continue using this to put in the fletching. One nice thing about this knife is that it's very sharp and, and a fairly thin blade, so it actually cuts in pretty deeply and should collect a goodly amount of ink. Okay, so the tail is all done. Now I'm going to lay out the wings and continue here. About right. Now I'm using this scribe to do a little cross hatching over the fletching. Shadow it a little bit. That should do it. Getting close now. Now we're going to lay out the, the beak. I'm going to use the round scribe for this. Okay, moment of truth. After I get all the black off, still got a little more inking to do, but it's going to be orange. <laughs> it's one of the hard to reach places. The steel wool just won't go. There's the steel wool trick I want to show you. I'll do that. Next. For the most part, that's uh, pretty much how it goes. We're going to do the orange of the beak and the feet. What the beak is, is it's a patch of black and then a, a yellow band and then orange tips, basically. And so what I'm gonna do is, cause the ivory is yellow-ish, I'm gonna let the ivory do the, the yellow part. That'll make it realistic for me. <laughs> What I got here is a um, small dollop of acrylic paint, and I'm gonna use that for the orange. My brush is a bit worn, but it still works. I'm basically gonna do the same thing to the feet now. Thank you. 